When you think of Bluey, you either think of greatness and quality, or you think of Square Dogs. The show may be one of the greatest cartoons on TV, but every TV show has its bad side, and Bluey has a fair share of bad episodes, like charades. <laughs> but also its fair share of bad characters. I already knew some of the characters that I think are pretty bad, but I also asked you guys for your worst characters in Bluey, and some of your guys' answers actually kind of surprised me. But without further ado, please subscribe, as I'm trying to become the biggest Bluey YouTuber ever, so please subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. But seriously, without further ado, here are Bluey's worst characters. I'm going to start with a character that actually quite surprised me with how many people said them, but you guys said the Terriers. This came as a surprise to me because I never really think of the Terriers being bad characters. I thought they were always cute little Terriers who liked to defend castles and stuff, but you guys seem to disagree. Now, only two people actually commented on the Terriers, but they both got a ton of likes. Now, Louie Mania didn't give a reason, but Leslie did, saying the Terriers I guess. I don't hate them, but I just feel that they're flat and basically all feel like the same character and don't add much the show, but maybe that could change in future episodes. They mentioned that they feel like the same character, but I feel like this was done intentionally because they're triplets, and I do feel they add enough to the show. For example, they were shown frequently in the episode Calypso and saved the village with the gnomes. They were enemies in the episode The Adventure oh and Typewriter. They were warriors who fought while taking care of a child and moms and dads, and their kangaroos in the episode Helicopter. The only time they don't really add much is when they're in the background of the show, which is really expected, and a lot of Bluey's friends appear in the background of episodes. So overall, I don't agree with this, but apparently you guys do, so the Terriers are on this list. Next we're moving on to another one that's a bit of a surprise again, and that's actually Chloe's dad. While he may not be the best character in the show, he's definitely not the worst. Three people commented about Chloe's dad being the worst, and one of those comments got 74 likes, so a lot of people agree on this as well. Chattermax explained their choice by saying that Chloe's dad likes to correct you on everything, and this person said the same thing, which is true. And you have to wave your arms about. They're actually called tentacles. But I don't think that makes him a bad character, especially since he seems to be very intelligent. Look, a robin! Why would a robin be under the sea? Dad, you're not meant to be smart. You're an octopus. Another comment stated that Chloe's dad doesn't treat people well, which I can't agree with at all because we don't see a single time where Chloe's dad is actually treating someone badly. The only thing that would make sense for him for being a bad character is him struggling to have fun, which is quite evident in the episode Octopus when he's struggling to play the game called Octopus. But either way, you guys agree with us, so Chloe's dad is on the list. Moving on to something that isn't as much of a surprise, we got Unicorse. Now, I actually kind of like Unicorse. I find Unicorse quite funny in the two episodes he appears in. Unicorse, what's your favorite food? Children. Oh. Which were Unicorns and Puppets. But two people talked about Unicorns being a bad character, and one of them got 33 likes, with Cool Shorty saying that he's basically all of Bandit's bad traits, and is controlled by Bandit, who he finds annoying. First of all, finding Bandit annoying is absurd. Secondly, yes, Unicorns is definitely annoying at some points, which can definitely make him a bad character to some people, and him having a lot of bad traits isn't helping his case either. But vice versa says that Unicorns has bad behavior, which is really the final straw when it comes to his reputation as a good character, because if you have bad behavior, you're most likely not good, which I feel is the reason why some people don't like Unicorns, and why he made the list. Now, going towards some of the obvious ones, we have Muffin, which was commented a ton. Now, I completely understand why Muffin is described as one of the worst characters, and she's really the main reason why charades suck so badly. Some of the reasons people stated were because she's annoying, she misbehaves, she's a brat, and is crazy. And if you ask me, that kind of reminds me of how a three-year-old acts. And you want to know how old Muffin is? Yeah, she's three. Which definitely explains her brattiness, and arguably, makes her a good character because she is a really accurate portrayal of a three-year-old. But in episodes like Charades, where she is an absolute brat for the entire episode, it is hard to actually like her. And one reasoning that I saw that I can 100% agree on is that Muffin has no character development. Which is 100% true because from season 1 to season 3, she's still a humongous brat and hasn't learned anything. Which puts Muffin on this list. 
One bonus character that I didn't actually think of is Tina from the episode Tina. She's completely invisible and imaginary and a completely horrible individual who cannot take care of herself at all. When was the last time she had a bath? Tina's never had a bath. Why did her teeth fall out? Well, when was the last time she brushed them? Tina doesn't brush her teeth. She was only commented twice with not much explanation, but she's up here because she truly is awful and pretty much ruined the episode Tina so much that they pretty much made a second version of the episode called Show and Tell. Didn't we cover this already? Uh, no. Yeah, we did, remember? Your invisible friend Tina beat me up. And we all learned that when I tell you to do something, I'm trying to help you. I didn't learn that. Now we're reaching the top three. And at number three, I got Hercules. Now, Hercules is pretty much universally described as a big bully. Just do as you told her you're not playing, okay? Okay. And despite being shown only in the episode Circus, he's pretty much remembered as a mean child, which is 100% deserved because not only does he hurt the kids verbally, he also hurts the kids physically and ruins the game that they're playing as well. This is a bit boring. A lot of people agree too, with some people saying he's a jerk, he's bossy, and a stereotypical bully, which is all true. But people really, really hate him, with someone even saying that they'll throw hands with him even if he's a literal toddler, which is 100% a crime. And Hercules was the subject of my second worst Bluey character video, which got 400,000 views and a whole lot of comments that also do not like Hercules. However, he's not any higher because he has only appeared in one episode, back in season 2, so who knows if he'll actually improve or not, but either way, he's the the third worst bluey character. Number two shouldn't be much of a surprise, but it's Judo. She sucks. She only had one episode where she was nice, but has had two episodes where she was the biggest brat that could have ever lived. Like not even Muffin could outbrat her brattiness. A lot of people commented her, and most people just said exactly what I said. She sucks, and she really does. In the episode Butterflies, she doesn't do anything nice. She's just a complete brat and meanie who literally ditched Bingo. Like how could you do that to her? She's literally the sweetest character in the show. And that's not the only time she was rude and pretty much broke someone's heart. Because she ends up doing the same thing to Pom Pom in the episode Seesaw by calling her too small to be the spider. You're too small to be the spider. No I'm not. She was the subject in my first worst bluey character video which is at 750,000 views so a lot of people definitely agree with me here and it makes sense because she's forever been described as the worst character but there's one character that ended up overtaking her is a character so horrifying that I would be scared to see them in real life. But before we go to the worst character I wanted to put some honorable mentions that I believe weren't good enough options to be in this list. Buddy because he's disgusting and picks his nose. Indy because she isn't interesting. Indy's mom because she forces Indy to eat healthy things. Kid Bandit because he isn't likable. The Kid from Promises because he didn't give Bluey a turn. John Luke because people ship him with Bluey. And Chattermax because he's overrated. But let's go to the worst character in Bluey. And that character is the old, ugly, and angry pug from the episode Granny Mobile. She is awful. Not one good thing about her. I think you should buy a little. I think you should mind your own business. And she never even learned her lesson. At least Judo and Hercules kind of redeemed themselves with Hercules at the end of Circus and Judo in the episode Dirt. But this pug lady does not at all, which is a reason why she's the worst Bluey character. And people also agree heavily with me, being the most commented character with reasons such as she's racist, which I'll get into soon, she's annoying, a bad role model, grouchy, and a Karen. And someone is so fed up with her that they openly said that they want to punch her, which, once again, is definitely illegal. Now, her being racist is only a theory because she called Chili a cattle dog. Stay out of it, cattle dog. Which some people theorize is like her saying a racial slur, but that one is up for debate. But either way, her attitude towards the adults and the children are definitely awful and disgusting. She even destroyed some of Doreen's property. She was the subject of my third and final worst bluey character video, which got 140,000 views, which means many people agree with me again that she is absolutely the worst bluey character ever. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and watching one of the videos on screen now. Comment down below your least favorite Bluey character and I'll see you all later.